Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this is another episode of these two little drones. Each of them costs $30 US and they're quite high in technology for what they do for $30 and what you get for $30. And if you watch my previous episode of this one, this is the JJRC H111. I showed it flying indoors, outdoors, the camera quality and all the features and it's pretty sweet and it comes in this display case. This one is called the S96 and it only costs $30 US as of today when I check the website. It also comes in a display case and on the bottom is where you store the joysticks which I think is pretty cool. One thing I find that's interesting is these bottom portions are the actual controller. So if you have big meaty hands, this one's pretty good in the hand compared to the smaller one here, which is quite tiny. The JJRC one, it's a little controller. Oh, I turned it on. Now this little $30 S96 is pretty cool because it does have a 4K camera shooting out the front. You do get a camera shooting out the bottom. You do have 360 degree obstacle avoidance. It's not gonna crash into anything. So all in all, pretty good. Now, everything I just said probably makes you go, where do I hit the button to buy? Hold on. The 4K camera is not 4K as in really good quality. You're going to see it in this video. It's 4K, but it's, eh, it's not that good. And the 360 obstacle avoidance, well, it does work. You know, I'm going to give it that. It works and you're not going to smash into anything except that sometimes it's going this way and there's an object and it goes, well, I better not hit that. So I'm going to go this way. It doesn't just stop. It just goes in the opposite direction. So you might find it drifting around. It has altitude hold, which is really cool. Optical flow with the camera on the bottom. It does flips, it does rolls, it has gesture control, it has three speeds that you need for outdoors because if there's the slightest bit of wind, it's gonna blow away. Now you do have the little glowy lights up top and you can turn them on and off. I just left them on here so it looks pretty sweet. This little drone, spin it and it comes right off. Your joysticks are right in the bottom here. So you just pull them out and they plop into the joystick holders on top and you're all set to go. It works really well and of course, just like all the little drones it works with an app on your phone to get you all the features you need to see so we are going to take this for a flight indoors now and then we're going to take it for a flight outdoors and i'll also show you what comes in the box so let's go oh one last thing i want to show you before we go check out the forward camera it's got the h hasselblad logo just like on the dji drones and all the expensive hasselblad cameras up front but uh, nope that's not a hasselblad lens or camera here's the s96 we're going to take it for an indoor flight and i did put the prop guards on it but you do not need the prop guards on this i'm just going to get the camera to focus uh, because it has 360 obstacle avoidance and it seems to work quite well. So uh, let's fly this. Release the joystick right now and see if it stays there and let me walk around it. Yep, that's pretty darn solid and accurate in the air. If I'm gonna go over here and about to hit the wall, what's it gonna do? It's gonna hit the wall, right? Boink! And that's why we have our little prop guards on. So you can't damage anything. That is obstacle avoidance, it's on. And now, I think the lights flash when it's on. Yeah, so that tells me it's working right now. It's flashing. Now let's go to the wall. And, uh, well, I can't even get there. See, nothing. Because the obstacle avoidance is on. Let's try sideways. Nope. <laughs> no, I think you'd have to go back farther. Let me try this. Let's take it back. And we'll try forward. Nope. Obstacle avoidance is on. It will not crash into anything in your house. Next thing to do is show you the camera. So I'm going to take our little guy here and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to face me and I'm going to sit on the couch. Phone is in the remote. I am using an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's very large, but it fits. All I have to do is connect this phone to the Wi-Fi of the drone sitting away over there. So I pull down my little Wi-Fi screen. There it is right there. Flow 4K, F-L-O-W 4K. Click on that one. That's your Wi-Fi. That's what you want to connect to. Once you're connected, your phone starts talking to the drone and then you just open up the app. The app you want to use is called Wi-Fi UAV. Click on that. So on the left hand side, you can see I can switch to the bottom camera, which is going to be black because obviously the bottom camera is looking at the table. The bottom camera is half the quality of the camera you're looking at right now. So for instance, I'm going to put on bottom camera. I'll just show you and I'll pick this up. There we go. So it's up. There's my carpet. There's my feet. See that? There you go. So now you get an idea of the quality of the bottom camera. So if you're flying up high, you can put the bottom camera on to get some sort of image. You also have on the left hand side to show you your photos and videos that you've taken already. It says I've taken one video and zero photos. Then on the top right is where you get all your cool options. Go to the top right. You have the bunny ears. That's gesture mode. So if I hold up a hand, it's going to go into gesture mode. You hear it? And it started recording a video. You see up 
up on the top of my screen. It's recording a video and it took a picture at the same time. And it's taking pictures because I won't put my hand out. Okay, I'll take my hand out. Next you have the zoom function and I can zoom into my GoPro hat. There we go. Doink, doink, doink. Nothing exciting. Next, there's a follow me. I'll put it on that. It says adjust the lens angle 30 degrees and keep safe distance of two meters. So figure followed has been turned on. Please click pedestrian on the screen. So let me just tell you now, I'm turning it off. It doesn't work very well. If you put follow me on this thing and you're outdoors, the wind is going to push it off to the side. I've tried it on the previous drone and I've tried it on this one. It doesn't work, so I don't even bother showing you. Next, you have make this drone fly a flight pattern. So on the right hand side of your screen, well, maybe it's left for you. Uh, draw something. I'll draw something like a, f a little wiggly line. See, the drone follows that. So if my drone was flying right now, it would do that pattern. Next, you have VR goggles. You put your phone in them and you see yourself as one image. Next, you can reverse the image. The rest things are just calibration things. Then we'll go over to the right and we have 30%, 60%, 100%. That's your speed. Then take a photo, take a video, and that's pretty much it. So I guess the next thing to do is just show you the video quality. So let me take it for a flight with the video recorded. I think the camera on this one is a little bit better than the other one for indoors because that image doesn't look bad. I'll try to fly it around the house. And you tell me what the image looks like. It's recording the 4K video. This is $30 4K video, by the way. So you get what you pay for. Going this way. Going in the other place. This one looks better than the other one. The other one I called it quits early because I was like, eh, it doesn't look that great. But this one actually has a pretty decent camera on it. This could be the best $30 budget drone on the planet. So far, I'm thinking it is. With all the features it has, it's actually quite decent. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before. For $30, you don't get brushless motors. They're brushed motors. So, you know, for $30, what do you expect? But it's pretty decent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go fly it in my backyard. It's a little windy outside. And we'll see how it does in the wind. I'll do some flying in the wind with the different speeds, do some flips and rolls, and try the camera outdoors and see what it looks like. But before I do that, let me show you what you get in the box. So check this out. The drone actually comes in a carry pouch, and inside that carry pouch you'll find your drone, accessories, and manuals. Accessories include a battery charger, spare props, prop guards, and a micro Phillips screwdriver. Removing the display case, we can see the remote, and the remote does require three AA batteries to power it. The remote does have a hidden mount for your cell phone, as shown here. When you power on the remote, the LED blue lights will start to blink. They'll go solid when the drone is connected. Speaking of the drone, you do get a lot of technology in your hands. For such a tiny device, you can see the obstacle avoidance on top, and on the bottom you can see the additional camera. The forward camera can be adjusted as desired, and this is a foldable drone, so just unfold it for your first flight. One thing I have noticed is that the forward lights are extremely bright, so if you fly this at night, you're going to see it from a great distance. To attach or remove the drone from the remote, simply twist it in place. The drone is designed to be stored in the display case and you have the option of leaving the glowy lights on or even the drone lights on. It's all up to you. Total takeoff weight of the drone is 71 grams. I'm going to do a test of the speed, see how good it is in the wind because there is wind in my backyard but less the closer to the house I am. But as soon as I take this farther away from my house, there's quite a bit of wind. So we'll test that out and the flippy mode and then the camera and the obstacle avoidance. So here we go. All right, let's take it up, see how it does in the wind in the back at normal speed. Okay, this is no obstacle avoidance on. I'll bring it back to me so I'll get it in both cameras. Flies quite well. This is normal mode. It's not bouncing around or anything. I can walk around it. This one's quite good. And then forward. Not bad. There's wind back here, but it's not having any issues. Okay, now I'm going to try the second speed on this thing. Medium speed, since it's in first speed. There's medium speed. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This thing's a beast. I think the speeds are pretty powerful on this one. And high speed, this is sport mode. Oh yeah, look at that. This thing just goes. Yeah, you can easily lose this because it's pretty fast. But we'll go back to normal speed. There we are, and we'll do the flippy mode. So I'll just let it sit there looking at me. Actually, I'll just spin it around this way. Bring it close, and we'll do a flippy mode. Find the button on here, and to the right. There we go, flippy mode to the left. There we are. And of course, I'll bring it back here and do one to the front. So this little camera over here catches it. And over here, we have flippy mode to the front. There we go. And of course, I can turn the obstacle avoidance on. How will it work out here? Because everything is far away. Here we go. Obstacle avoidance on now. Okay, so I'm here. 
It can't crash into me. See, as I walk towards it, my hand, everything, see? I can move it just by being around it. So let me fly it now towards my house. Will it crash into the house? Will it crash into the house? It should not. No, it's coming back. There we go. Just pushes itself away from anything that's in front. Let's bring it back and we'll try out the camera. Let's go over here. Bring it this way and bring it down. There we go. So to try out the camera, I have to use the app. So I'll put my phone in here. So I'm going to fly it with no obstacle avoidance on. Different image on this one than my, the other little drone I was flying. Okay. Records on. Even gives me a nice little sound. Here we go. Now that's not bad. It's a pretty good image of me there. Flashing lights up front, which means that it's running low on power. So I'm just going to uh, take it up and see what it looks like when it's looking across the street at the house. How does that look? Looks like everything's kind of washed out. All right, let's bring her back. I think this thing, this one needs more contrast in it. All right, we'll bring it on down this way. But uh, let's bring it over here and land it. We'll go like this. There we go. All right, so that ends my video. I will say right now that I think this is the best buy for the $30 price tag. I think this is probably the best drone you can get for $30 US. I don't think there's anything else better on the market. So uh, yeah, that's what that's my recommendation. Best drone you can get for $30 US. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put links to this drone below. As I mentioned, it's 30 bucks. It's on the Banggood website and there might even be a coupon or a discount. So check below to find out if there is and it might be good for you. Why am I holding that? up in the air and with all that said i say uh, if you have any questions on the drone then uh, post them below but for now i say thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in a future video with many more products until then i say 